good morning. That's an ice ripper running out there. We had to uh, put it in this morning to get the hole open in the pond where we could hunt it. I thought it was supposed to be sunny today, but it turns out it's kind of cloudy. So I don't know when these birds are going to fly, but they've been in here. This is a really big loaf pond for them. We've got a bunch of decoys out and now it's quiet. <laughs> ice ripper turned off. But well, we got the bank lined, we got floaters out. We can't really hunt with the wind at our back here, so we're kind of side shooting it today. We'll see how it goes. They're cupped up, coming in. <laughs> Be ready, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, get that shell in, John. We're gonna shoot here in a second. <laughs> Nice job, guys. That is a freaking huge bird. <laughs> Look at that. He's big. That is huge. How big is his head? He's got a big old softball head on him? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Good girl. This one is huge. That is a big one, dude. This one's smaller. Yeah. That one. That's like a bone size. Well, first group came in at 7.30. <laughs> we were fixing to load our guns pretty quick. John only put two shells in his gun. But uh, that's a great start, they cupped right in. I was digging through my bag to find a, a goose call, but I don't think that was even necessary. So this hunt would not be possible without Onyx Hunt. Um, we use that app to find who owns this piece of ground and went and asked for permission and here we are hunting it. So big shout out to them. I'm kind of curious about when the next group's coming. It's kind of tough side shooting them. Here they come. What the hell, Levi? You boys ready? Sleeping. Well, that worked. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't necessarily the most ideal situation of how they landed and nothing we can do about it. We did get a few out of there, so can't complain. They were shootable shots and it is what it is. So we'll keep keep hunting here. We've had a few groups fly and check us out and they landed in a field. So hopefully you get thirsty. Come on over and give us a look. Double bank. What'd you think? That was really good. It was fun. Terrible shooting. Terrible shooting. The wind. I've done a heck of a lot more for less. I thought it was a good hunt. We had fun. Everybody have a good time? Yep. That's what it's about. Out of the way. Got to use the ice ripper. <laughs> we did. Glad we had it. Yeah. Because uh, we needed it there early on. I don't know, it might have opened up, but we sure gave it a, a good head start. Well guys, getting everything kind of unpacked and piled up in the, in the garage. It's just kind of that mid-season craziness going on right now, but not a horrible hunt. It was basically kind of what I expected today was going to be like, maybe get a couple of groups to come in. I've been scouting like a madman trying to find some properties to hunt, and I, I just can't find anything right now, so that kind of sucks, but 
Ice Ripper came into play today. I love using that thing, like especially today. It was just some skim ice. We were able to get that off real quick, open up that hole, and uh, be ready for when those birds came in. And today I had Joe try out the body furnace, which is this little tool right here. It's a belt and it heats up and keeps you warm. Joe gets really cold. So I wanted to help him out. And this thing really puts off some heat. So if you guys want to check this out, I've got a link to this in the description. Same with Onyx. Talked about it earlier in this video. So if you guys want to use Onyx, I've got a link in the description as well. But that's, that's it for today. I mean, pretty typical. Just go in, shoot a few birds, kind of hunt today. Nothing spectacular. Hopefully we get some colder weather moving through and pushing some birds down. It's just been a stale, stale, stale season. And we're just not at the numbers that we normally are at this year. So it kind of sucks. Got my fingers crossed. Hopefully something comes together. But if you guys haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and leave me a like on this video. You can follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So follow me on there. Stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next one.